But, uh, oh my god, he just flew off the screen! Holy sh**. Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming! It is today, NHL Stanley Cup time! And just look at that awesome thing. Oh, the goalie's like, F*** this, man! Oh, look at that glorious Mode 7 Super Nintendo fake 3D. And we got, like, the awesome guitar riffs in the background. This this game is so cool, it sounds like it, sh it should be on the Sega Genesis. Like, the Sega Genesis, in my opinion, has always had more, like, of a rocky... Not, like, rocky, like, you know, uh, Adrian, but, like, rocky, like, rock guitar sound effects. Well, that guy was glitching out there. Um, the Sega Genesis has always sort of had, like, a more rock and roll kind of, uh, sound to its music. But just listen to this. The Super Nintendo could hold its own. And these hockey players are brawling with each other, beating each other with their sticks, slap shot in the puck. There's no holds barred in this awesome Super Nintendo hockey game. And, uh, funny story... You know, for people who watch my channel, you know I'm not very much of a sports guy or a sports video game guy, but this is one of the few sports video games we owned when I was growing up, and I have a lot of fond memories of this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in here uh, to NHL The Stanley Cup. So we have various options. Let me just go into game options to see what we have here. Um, I have not seen this game for it's got to be like 15 or 20 years but as soon as i loaded it up here today the music instantly brought me back and it, like memories are like rushing forward hey we can play this game in french if we want uh i was gonna ask you guys if you speak french in french but i don't know if i can get this right est-ce que tu peux parler français uh, i'm probably butchering it i li i i'm from canada and our, our second official language is french but uh, damned if i can speak it um, anyway, this all looks good to me. Sure. I don't even know, by the way, I don't even know what uh, offsides and line changes are. Again, I'm not really a hockey guy, so I'm kind of winging it here, guys. Let's just do an exhibition game. Uh, one player. There's different levels. Junior, NHL Pro, and NHL. Um, wait, what's the most advanced? Wait, Junior. Okay, you just... When you press an arrow, it just changes randomly. We'll just try playing at the NHL level. And you may be thinking, Jay, I know you. You're overcommitting. Why are you playing at such an advanced level? And I'll tell you. Because I own this game, I know a little exploit, which presumably might help us score, but I guess we'll see. All right, we get to pick our team. First, we pick the region. Let's go to the Northeast. And let's look for the uh, team that we know. The Quebec Nordiques. Okay, hold on. I want it to be... Oh, there's the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, you guys know what team I'm looking for. I always look for the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. I know, they're not. They're nobody's favorites, but what can I say? Uh, whoops, I went back too far there. Where are they? Are they central? I can't be right. Oh, there they are. Okay. Well, I don't know geography too, apparently. So, uh, Toronto Maple Leafs? How about Toronto versus the Montreal Canadiens? Is that a very... Is that a, uh, that, that is as hockey as it gets, man. Canada versus Canada. We invented the sport, damn it. Or did we invent it? I don't even know. We play it. We play it a lot. I don't know if we invented it. All right. Toronto versus Montreal. Two great Canadian cities. Whoever wins, you know, Canada wins either way. But, uh, here we go in the face-off. So, I'm the blue team. The, uh, Montreal, or the Toronto. <laughs> I'm just getting the teams wrong. I'm the Toronto Maple Leafs, guys. Um, so here's here's how this game works. You kind of like, uh, you know, like check these guys and, and steal the puck from them and stuff. Oh, they knocked me over. Uh, Montreal is offside. Oh, we got a penalty. So here's the trick. If you actually try and score in this game, it is actually pretty brutally hard. Um, but if you come around the center... Oh, God. If, if you can get to the center of the arena... Um, and line line yourself up with this is pretty good. Ah, oh, damn it! They are so aggressive. Maybe we should be playing this game on junior. I don't even know if I have the skills to do the exploit. Basically, when you try to oh no, where's the goalie? Where's the goalie? Holy God! Oh, we got saved on a technicality. Okay, he's back in there. Okay. Um, oh, and apparently I can't pass either. Okay, you get you get around. Oh my God! Insane. You get around the center of the arena and you just dump the puck at the opposing goalie. And what the AI does is the AI runs out 
to try and get the puck like around here. Oh, it went behind. It went behind. I shot it too late. But to, that's basically the move. You just basically sort of dump the puck. And is that good? Oh, he caught it. Okay. Need to be a little... Jesus. I don't even know how to body check in this. I, I'm playing like a very gentleman, gentlemanly here. Like just casually stealing the puck. But they're like literally body checking me. I, I should figure out the moves here. Uh, but anyway, this game is really hard to score in if you don't know that exploit. Um, for a long time, I owned this game. Um, this is one of the games that I think my dad bought for the Super Nintendo when the Super Nintendo is fairly new for us. Oh, here we go. Score time. Damn it. Damn it. Maybe, maybe I'm playing like a patched version of the game, like a different revision, and they've patched out the exploit. I don't know. Anyway, this is one of the, the games that my dad bought for our Super Nintendo back when it was new. And I remember he was excited for it because, uh, like every Canadian except myself, he actually, you know, followed hockey to some degree. Wasn't the biggest sports guy, but he followed hockey enough. Uh, and, uh, yeah, he was really excited for this. I think the only uh, hockey game we had really played up to that point was, damn it, Blades of Steel. And, uh, I mean, we both loved Blades of Steel, but this, I mean, this, when this game came out, look at the faux 3D effects, you know, like, this is almost like the Star Fox equivalent, uh, of sports games. Um, it, it was, it was impressive. It was impressive. Damn it, I'm doing it too early. I gotta do it, like, a little later. You guys see, though, that the puck is, like, almost going in. It looks like it's going right to their goalie. I admit, it does not look like an exploit. But you get that, you get it lined up just right. And it goes right over the goalie's head. The goalie, like, oh god. I should not be in control of the goalie, by the way. When I'm in control of the goalie, he, like, runs out of the the net. And, like, walks halfway across the ice. Um, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom! That's a goal! Damn it! <laughs> nope. <laughs> anyway, the, the computer is not scored on me. So you can see just how hard it is to score a goal in this game. Just like real hockey, it's, a, it's typically very low-scoring games. Once you get the timing and positioning down for that exploit, though, it's like the the games are like, you know, 20 nothing blowouts. Like, you can really, like, rock it. Um, but yes, I have a lot of fond memories of playing this with my dad. And uh, once I figured out the exploit, then I played it with my uncle. And boy, did that piss him, him off. <laughs> once, once I figured out the exploit... I, I was like, hey, uh, Uncle John, you want to play some hockey with me? And he's like, you don't like playing hockey, boy. What's up? And I was like, no, no. I mean, I know you like hockey. Let's play some hockey. And he's like, all right. And then uh, then I just dominated him. God damn it. I can't get this exploit. Um, then I just dominated him. And <laughs> it was funny how frustrated. I, I still remember that one game we played. And I was using the exploit. And he got so frustrated. It was It was awesome. You know, the first time as a kid... That you, uh, oh, come on. It's like I'm either too far or too early. I just, I can't get it just right. Damn it. I hope I'm not playing a revision of the game that doesn't have the exploit. We'll try this again on Junior if it's a 0-0 game at the end here. Oh, God, where's the goalie? Get back in the net, you fool. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, you, you jerks. He, oh, he body checked me. I was about to dump the puck. Did you see that? I flew across hold on we can actually rewind here look at this look at this let me let me show you this in the replay in the slow-mo in fact so i'm like one guy's getting owned i get the puck and i'm like all right here we go you guys ready to see a dump oh God. four frames did you see that look at this one two three and i'm off the screen i got four i flew so fast there were only four frames to represent my failure. That is... That guy pushed me hard, man. Oh, God. How do you body check? How do you body check? Montreal, you guys are not playing fair, man. I uh, we're tr It's Canada versus Canada, man. I thought we were supposed to be polite. What's happening here? People from Montreal are dicks. You dicks. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Maybe the exploit doesn't work. I don't know. Uh, anyway, that's how that's how the, how you used to score on people in this game. Uh, maybe I should just try playing normal. But the thing is, like, this game is notorious for being really hard to score in. So even even if I was playing normal, this is probably would be the score is zero zero. Oh God. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Like, see, like the computer even is uh 
is is not oh god they scored oh my god and uh ugh. period over all right but yeah that period was nhl action at its finest apparently a one nothing first period is uh, NHL action at its finest. Damn it, I can't believe this glitch isn't working. I, 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 it's like I just got to get the timing. If I can figure out the timing, then we've totally got this. Um, anyway, the other cool things about this game is that it really mimics hockey and that there's tons of different penalties. There's like offsides and holding and stuff. You can like fake slap shots and other... Like you can line up to do a slap shot and then like pass the puck and stuff. So there's all sorts of fake outs you can do. I think if you're playing with another human, these things uh, get sort of really fascinating. I I mean, I've always believed that playing sports games against your friends is far more fun than playing against the, the computer. I think people who are really into sports games enjoy them against the computer as well. But for me, it's like if I am going to play a sports game, I, you know, I, I just have more fun if it is against uh, someone I know. You know, if, if I can humiliate uh, a friend then uh, that, that's all that's all I want out of a video game. I don't care if it's a sports game at that point. As long as my friends are being humiliated, <laughs> I'm good, you know? Uh, all right. God. Okay, here we go. How many how many periods are there typically? Three or four? I don't even know the answer to that. There are guys all over me. Okay, here we go. Dump the puck. Yeah! It worked! It worked! Okay, we just... Yeah, he's like, yeah, f*** this! <laughs> okay, we just have to get the timing and positioning down so it works it totally works it totally works i mean it's it's hard to get in the center there typically like it's not an easy exploit it's not just something that you can uh you know just hop in and, and do oh they're offside suckers um, and, and yeah, so I, I don't even know where I learned about this exploit. It was probably like a magazine or something, like a gaming magazine, but I was thinking about that before, before I started playing today, about how, like, uh, there's so many, like, exploits and tips and tricks I know in video games, and, like, where did I learn them all? Oh, that almost went in, too. I was a second too early there. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was helping no one. That was just a, sh that was a blind shot across the ice for no reason. Um, but yeah, where did I learn all my tips and tricks? Like, I was trying to think, like, where where did I first learn the Konami code, right? You guys, everyone knows the Konami code, but, oh, damn it. Where did you first learn it? I, I was thinking about this, and I'm pretty sure I first learned about the Konami code. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Whoa, that's a goal. Oh, it bounced off the, the goal post. At least we've tied it up, though. Um, I'm pretty sure I first learned about the Konami code when we rented Contra when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure this is how it went down. We rented Contra, and in the instruction booklet that came with the rental, in the back of it, someone had written down the code. And we were like, huh, what's this? And we tried it, and lo and behold, it gave us 30 lives. And we were like, whoa! You know, like, like that's how we discovered the code back then. Um, and... You know, like various other tips and tricks, like I, I learned like in the schoolyard, like friends and stuff would tell me, um, boo, oh, oh, what the, dump it, uh, friends and stuff would tell me in the schoolyard, I, I would buy like video game tip books, you know, like when we had book fairs in like grade four and stuff, people would buy, be buying like goosebumps and stuff, I would always buy, oh, I'm, I'm trying to dump it, but it won't work. I would always buy books, like short stories for scary stories. I was really into that for some reason. And I would buy like the Game Master's Nintendo tips. And it was like 400 pages of like Nintendo tips, tricks, and codes. And it's like that, that is basically uh, what I would, the kinds of books that I would read. Oh, come on. Come on, goalie. Nonsense. I think the other side's getting scared. I think Montreal's getting a little scared because they're being less aggressive to me at this point. Um, although, no, here it comes. You better not score. You better not score. Oh, God. Stay away from my dudes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I passed it to no one. Why did no one receive that? Oh, my God. And it almost went in. It almost went in. That is, that would have been some ridiculousness right there if that had actually worked. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. 
Oh, we score it again. We're getting it. Yeah, I just love the anger of the goalies. They, like, hit the puck out of the net aggressively when you score on them. They're just, like, pissed, man. That is hilarious. Well, we're actually going to win a game at the NHL level. I thought for a minute we would have to tone the difficulty down just so the AI was a little, uh, you know, it would be a little more, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Okay, there we go. Um, would be a little kinder to us, and we could actually use the exploit because the AI gets more aggressive. <laughs> oh, I got the timing down. It's done. It's done. You guys ready for a blowout? Um, but yeah, the AI is pretty damn aggressive, like knocking your guys over and stuff. So I don't. Again, I don't even know what the body check button is. Like, hold on. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's X. Oh, God. Um, okay, let's pass it. And score! Uh, didn't, he didn't go for it. Get out of here. Boom! Boom! Oh, I'm, like, butt-checking them. X is a butt-check. Whatever that's called. Is that a body check? In ho is just all, are all body checks just by default butt-checks? I don't, I don't know. Again, not a hockey guy. Um... I never decided not to be a hockey guy. I just, like, how do other people get into hockey? I just, I just didn't get into it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why it never happened for me. But it didn't happen. It was weird. Um, here we go. No, that was way too early. I can, like, feel it now. I can just feel the timing. But anyway, yeah, how did you guys hear about, uh, like, codes and stuff in video games back in the day? You know, um, I think I think instruction manuals from rental shops where people had written stuff in the instruction manuals. That was actually a way that people sometimes learned about things. Um, oh, yeah, there were all sorts of other th ways that people learned to like the tip books and stuff. And like there'd be TV shows back in the day where people would review video games or play them like video and arcade top 10 and Nick's arcade and stuff. And they would they would have like video game tips and codes in there, too. So that was another source. But uh, I always remember, like I've talked about this before, but I remember those early days of video gaming. There was so much more mystery surrounding, you know, like, like tricks in video games. You know, like you could, like before the internet, before the days of the internet, you just couldn't go online and verify anything. So if somebody was like, hey, if you press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start on the title screen of Contra, you'll get 30 lives. You know, maybe that would work or maybe it wouldn't. Because um, there's lots of, like, rumor and hearsay and stuff, you know. And there was, again, no way to verify it. You know, if somebody said, hey, like, in the first level of Mario 1, you know, if you go down the third warp pipe, uh, you can get to Bowser's castle right away. You know, it's something that obviously isn't true. There would be no way to find that out. So it's like... There was this era of, like, you didn't know what was real and what wasn't. And there were so many mysteries and rumors about, you know, one time my friend Kyle saw his brother beat Mega Man X and he didn't get any of the upgrades to went right to Sigma or something crazy. And, like, you didn't know if it was true. And, I mean, I guess it's nicer nowadays that we can verify things. But I think some of that, like, mystery of, like, you know, not knowing which rumors were true and which weren't. You know, it was sort of a more lawless time in video games, if that is such a thing. You know, it was... It was an era of mystery and wonder, and uh, it sounds crazy and old man, you know, old man get off my lawn-ish, but, you know, those those were the days, man. Those were the days. Uh, anyway, our exploit is clearly working. We are, we are owning the other team. So my uncle figured out the only way to counter this is to select one of your players on the opposing team and keep him near the center of the arena to block the other team from coming in and dumping the puck. That's the only way he was able to figure out how to do it. The trick is the computer constantly switches which character you have selected, like which hockey player is yours, to try and put you closer to the puck, but that actually goes counter his efforts to uh, block... Oh, that puck hit him in the face. That actually counters the efforts to block the dump move. Uh, and so it's actually very hard to block this move if you're playing 2v2. You bastards. You bastards. Oh my god, where's the goalie? Where's the goalie? Okay, there we go. Oh, and we got it. This is a goal right here. Right there! Oh! Okay, whatever. I mean, we're winning 4-1. Right now, we're just showing off if we score anymore. You know, we're, we're just we're humiliating the Montreal Canadiens if we score. So we might as well be good Canadians and not showboat too hard. Uh, Montreal is offside. Damn right they are. Oh, I was about to score there. 
Ref, we didn't need another face-off. I was fine with letting the game proceed. I wish they would let you. They, they'd be like, hey, do you want to call a penalty in the other team? And you could decide instead of forcing a penalty. Because, like, honestly, I was fine with that, uh, <laughs> that uh, not, not resetting us back to another face-off. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing you can do to, like, protect yourself from those guys in the middle. You just kind of have to always go for the middle and hope that they can't stop you. That's the only move you can really do. Like, right now. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm looping around. And, oh, dump it! <laughs> oh, the puck did get dumped out of that fracas, but uh, didn't result in any, any goals. Uh, buddy check! Butt check! Butt check! Yes! People booed the butt check. People booed the butt check. Can I just body check people, like, for no reason? Um, there we go. Butt check! Butt check! Oh, the goalie just took out, like, three guys. Okay, here it is. If this isn't a goal, I don't know what is. Damn it, it was way too early. Way too early. Um, oh, here we go. Oh, he butt checked me! You... Bastards. Bastards. Um, one thing I do miss about the Blades of Steel era of uh, gaming is uh, in Blades of Steel, if you like body checked each other too hard or whatever, there you go, another goal. If you body checked each other too hard, then uh, then you'd eventually get into a fist fight. And whoever lost the fist fight would go into the penalty box. That was, I remember, always an amazing part of Blades of Steel, like the fist fighting. There's no fist fighting in this. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get sent to the penalty box, but I don't know how it happens. In fact, hold on. Let's go to the menu for a second. No, oh, that's instant replay. Here, here's the actual menu. Um, these are the statistics. Oh, I thought there was a way to pull your goalie out. I might, I might be crazy. I thought there was a way to pull your goalie out and put a sixth player um, on the on the uh arena on the field i don't know oh, hit the post damn i've hit i've hit the post more than i've got the goal in honestly like i've gotten five goals nothing to shake a broom at but oh god he flew off the screen again hold on look at look how hard they hit us look how hard they hit us oh wait we got to go forward x okay so i'm skating i'm skating minding my own business and then bam okay hold on look at this look at this how many frames? He hits me so hard. There's the first frame of injury, the second frame, the third frame, and I'm gone. <laughs> Three frames this time instead of four. Yikes. By the way, I've only taken 21 shots. They've taken 40, and I've got five goals. So what does that tell you? Who's got the bigger brain now? Who is better at hockey now, Montreal? I don't even need to... W I haven't won a single one of these face-offs, I don't think. I suck at the face-offs. I'm just good at scoring. Oh, God body checking us i actually kind of want to uh give these guys a pity goal i might do that oh i was right there i was right there i was right in the sweet spot okay here it comes again oh get back here get back here you know what here i, I want to want to try something um oh god okay when, once the goalie gets the puck if he ever does okay whatever i, I want to see if i can get the goalie to score all right the goalie oh god the goalie is just pissed off <laughs> he's just left Buggered away from the, the net. Okay. There we go. All right. The goalie has got the puck. He's going for it. The crowd is going wild. Oh, I froze the puck. Wait, so... Can... So, I mean, there must be limits on, like, where the goalie can go. The goalie's not allowed to skate to the far end of the uh, arena. There, there must be some hockey game out there, some historic hockey game, where, like, a goalie skated the farthest away from his net that has ever been seen before like is it like to the center or something like how far away has a goalie ever gone from their net um uh, i'd be kind of curious to see i i guess actually it's probably not that far it's probably super rare that they leave their net at all but here we go all right i was i was even trying to like intentionally move my goalie around to give them a chance to score but i don't even think I, it's possible the game's just too chaotic boom that was way too late way too late to score Oh, goalie bastard. I like how the goalies in this game are like tanks. Like, you just touch them and you go down. You know, like, these, these guys, you know, I've got, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger as my goalie. Um, there we go. Jeez. 
Boom. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, God. And I just get sandwiched between two dudes. Don't you hate it when you're about to score and then out of nowhere, two dudes come and sandwich you? And it's like, yo, I was going to score, bro. And they're like, not anymore. Boom. That's a goal. <laughs> I can just tell now. I can just feel it. It's funny how it all comes back to you. You know, like, if you haven't played a, vi a certain video game in, like, over a decade, you know, and you boot it up again, and it's like the theme song, the title screen, the controls, they just all start coming flooding back to you. And the more you play it after like, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, you start to get in a groove and like the old timings come back, you know, and you just like remember, you know, how to play. And it's, I don't know, it, it, it's great is all I can say. Um, look, I'm the goalie. Look, I'm, I'm in the middle of, oh God. Okay, hold on. Wait, <laughs> goalie, you have nothing to be pissed off with there. <laughs> I had the goalie in the center of the arena. That wasn't entirely by choice. It was a bit of an accident, I will say. Even though I was trying to give them a freebie. But they got their freebie, so I hope they're happy. Um, God, stop stealing the puck. What is happening in this fracas? How did he come out ahead? Guy's a dick, man. Guy's a grade A professional D-bag. Forgive that locker room... Uh, language everyone but this game gee golly it just gets under my skin there we go oh look at these awesome super nintendo graphics the music there was only one guy on my team apparently who cared about the victory <laughs> the rest did not care now that was a great nhl matchup you said it dude our final score was 6-2 in favor of the maple leafs leafs always win right <laughs> I know that's not true in real life. Maple Leafs goalie withstood a barrage of 52 shots and saved 50. One of them, he was halfway across the, the arena, so let's say that he saved, he could have saved 51. Let's view the Leafs stats. Numbers! G's, A's, SOG's, and PIM's. In case you were curious. We also have uh, the Canadians game statistics. Here you go, more numbers! One guy had 21 SOGs, the other guy 18. Yet a third one had 13, the rest had zero. Convincing stuff, if ever I've seen numbers that look convincing. Player 14, <laughs> yeah, player 14, who was that? Uh, I don't think they had the rights to actually like name all the players. Please tune in again for more awesome NHL action. I'm just like, I want this, this like a uh, soundtrack, like on my phone as a ringtone or something. This, this music is badass. Um, anyway, this has been NHL Stanley Cup. Just a short little stroll down memory lane for me, uh, playing classic, classic Super Nintendo games. Um, was this a game that you guys had back in the day? Did you play? Did you have fond memories of playing this? And did you know about the exploit? So the little exploit that I showed you guys today about dumping the puck halfway across the arena. It, it's right before the blue line. It's right before the blue line, and you have to be totally centered. But if you do it, it's virtually a goal every time. And if you're playing against a, a human, if you have a buddy, and uh, you guys grew up playing this and no one knew about the exploit, challenge him to a game. Tell him you'd like for old time's sake to play, and look at the look on his face when you start scoring from halfway <laughs> across the arena, dumping the puck. He's going to be astonished. Play it off as an accident the few first few times. Be like, oh, that's weird. How did I score? I'm pretty sure that's what I did with my uncle. And I was like, whoa, that's weird. And he's like, oh, man, you got so lucky. But the third and the fourth and the fifth goal, it starts to look not like luck and more like I'm cheating. And uh, But, of course, I'm not. It's just an exploit. He could do it. He uh, just wasn't as good at it as me. So practice it. Play with your buddy and report back in the comments. I would love to hear if someone trolled their friend with this uh, exploit after all these years. Anyway, guys, uh, whether you like the game or not, I hope today uh, was a bit of a trip down memory lane. I hope that uh, I made today entertaining and enjoyable, and if that was the case, I hope you will tune back in soon for uh, more retro games and more videos to come. Um, until I meet you guys again, you all take care of yourselves. Oh, and I love how pissed the goalies get when, a, when a, there's a goal. Great part of the game. Great part of the game. Anyway, until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and we'll see you soon. Peace. Oh my god, you just fell off the screen!